everyone, this is Peter Hewitt, La Artistino, back with another colouring video. Since uploading my pastel background tutorial, I have received numerous responses asking if my technique is compatible with colouring with other mediums. Well, the answer is, I don't know. So, in the interest of science and colouring, I decided to conduct my own experiment. Now, I'm fussy with my books and I didn't want to potentially ruin a page. So instead I've drawn these three little caricatures of three animals you can find here in Australia. The paper that I've used is a thick card which I bought at Office Works in just a pack of card paper and I've drawn them with just a eraser and a mechanical pencil and a couple of Unipin fine line pens. I like using these, these are waterproof so I can chuck water on them and I know they're not going to shift. Now I'm going to use these three cheeky guys to test three different mediums. The Goanna, I'm going to demonstrate or test uh, watercolour um, markers and for that purpose I've got some Tombows. These are great watercolour markers, they have the lovely brush tip at one end and the fine tip at the other. I think the fine tip tends to press down through the paper and make it bleed more. This one I don't have many problems with bleed through depending on the paper I'm using. For my tortoise I'm going to use my old Staedtler Aquarel pencils. Now these guys I have had since I was a teenager. So they're quite old and I love them. I thought they would be a good representation of watercolour pencils. And now for this guy, the Eastern Blue Tongue Lizard, I'm going to be using my Ink Tense pencils and see what happens with those. I thought that'd be a different contrast to the watercolour pencils as these are watercolours and the Ink Tense uh, are actually an acrylic ink so they'll react differently. Fond of these little guys, you get them visiting you in your backyard here in Victoria using the pastels to colour the background. And I'll start with that, I'll speed that up because you've already seen me do that before, but you might like to watch me doing it fast again. background has been added. I've erased most of the pastel out of the figure. Um, as you can see there's a teeny little shadow of pastel left behind. I don't know if it's this particular card that's retaining the pastel more than other paper that I've used but it doesn't worry me. It will help to seat the person or the, the little guy into the, the background better. Now this guy I'm going to colour with Tombow markers. Very important. If you have a set of colouring um, stuff, uh, markers, pencils, to make one of these guys up. This is a colour chart. Uh, a lot of the markers that I find, Tombows and otherwise, the pen lids don't indicate the correct colour. So before you start, whether you've got um, Faber-Castell connector pens or uh, Crayola textures, pens, um, markers, uh, make a colour chart to refer to. It makes it a lot easier to pick the colours. 
I'm lucky enough to have uh, the full set of Tombow markers. Anyway, let's begin. Mr. Goanna finished with the markers. Now remember these are watercolour markers or water-based markers, um, not alcohol-based markers. Your alcohol-based markers are your Copics or Copics, um, your Sharpies and your big markers. Uh, this is a water-based marker, the one that I use, the Tombos, so the, obviously the alcohol-based markers may react differently. But as alcohol-based markers aren't really suitable for most uh, double-sided colouring books, I haven't tried those. Now, as for the results, I'm quite happy with it. I had no trouble laying the colour down, and as you can see, it's nice and bright, and it's adhered to the uh, fixative surface quite well. Now we'll get on to Mr. Tortoise. And for that, I'll be using the watercolour pencils. And here we have Mr. Tortoise. He's finished. Again, I used the Stadler Aquarels or watercolour pencils on him and I'm quite happy with the way he turned out. Once again, I felt that the sealant surface um, took the watercolour pencils quite well and I had no problems moving them around with the water brush. Now, let's see about Mr. Blue Tongue. the Eastern Blue Tongue now coloured in with Dew and Ink Tense pencils. Again I experienced no difficulty colouring over the pastel with the sealant on it. Um, the pencils reacted quite well, applying water was no problem at all. Um, I felt that they probably didn't absorb into the paper as much with the paper being sealed but the effect really wasn't noticeable and it just slightly altered the way that I handled the pencils and, and the application of water. But I think the end result is just as good as using the Inktense pencils on unsealed paper. So I can happily conclude that uh, it is quite okay to use markers, watercolour pencils and do and Inktense pencils over the top of your pastels once they've been sealed with uh, the permanent um, matte finish, uh, workable matte finish. Uh, now if I turn it over we'll see if there's been any bleed through and pardon the paper's a little bit messy but I can see absolutely no bleed through whatsoever. So 
there you have it. From now on I'll be looking at trying uh, using the Tombow markers and the my watercolour pencils and my ink tense pencils over the top of my pastel backgrounds. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video and get something out of it to help improve your art and happy colouring. <laughs>